Hello, better known twin here. Welcome back in. This is another episode of Skyrim. Yes, she's gonna keep looking scared. You in need of a companion, friend? Well, then you're in luck. I reckon I've killed more men than there are minutes in a day. Is that so? Wow, I could scream murderer and call the guards. I think by minutes you mean hours, and by men you mean mud crabs. <laughs> I'd say you're right. I can count the mud crabs I've killed without using my toes. I'm not big on hurting such gentle creatures. What? Oh, okay. Yeah, how many? How have you managed to kill so many men? <laughs> it's all in the hips, friend. Killing a band is like making love to a maiden. It only takes a second, and there's no shortage of blood. Wow. Okay. Yeah, there's also an inordinate amount of grunting involved. <laughs> wow. I see my lady enjoys both her battles and her men. Yeah. Uh. I got my start as a pit dog in the Imperial City Arena. Worked my way up to Gladiator before I got bored and quit. They say the best techniques are left by the survivors. With me gone, I guess everyone will have something to offer. I know, and I would have been Grand Champion too. If not for the burden. Oh, I know what you're thinking. Fair maidens in my bed and good stew in my belly. Some burden. Well, that ain't what I'm talking about. Uh, okay, why'd you leave? Well, friend, it all comes down to who your opponent is. I'm square with killing men. But with a grand champion. Ain't no more men to fight. So, they bring in beasts. Minotaurs and things. I don't like it one bit. If a man chooses to enter the arena, it's what you call his prerogative. A beast ain't got no say in the matter. I kill horkers for food and bears for hides. I don't kill no animal for sport. Hmm. Why not? You need to get up more, friend. The arena is the most celebrated spectacle in all of Tamriel. To fight and die in the arena. Yeah, he's talking about the arena in Cyrodiil, I believe. To fight and live. Well, in Imperial that, City. And you carve your name amongst the gods. You are mistaken. It couldn't have been higher. Is that so? The people were hungry, not for blood, but for entertainment. Oh. The arena, friend, was a welcome diversion from the throes of war. Because there's no death in the arena. Not to them. If you're a spectator, ain't nothing that happens in that pit real. It's all a game. Because it's fair, it's about the only place you can truly measure a man's worth. If I ask the folks here who has the best mead in Skyrim, one person might say Blackbriar mead, another might vouch for Haunting Brew. If I asked for the best alchemist, bard, or scribe, or which inn was warmest, and which winch the sweetest, there'd be many replies, but no answer. Uh, but if I asked you who was the strongest, who could best any man in the pit, there'd be no debate. You'd know by who was left standing. 
Only in the arena can a man be judged by his own merits. Hmm. Uh, yeah, that's you all the questions I got. It's freaking long-winded, man. I'll talk to this guy more later. Uh, yeah, follow me. Let's go. All right. Need something? So yeah, I have. Th yeah, I could have like thirty fucking NPCs follow me if I wanted. We got rooms and food, drink too. I cook. Ain't much else to tell. All right, you got. Uh, can I use your alchemy lab? Long as you clean up, you know how to use it, right? Mix a couple of ingredients together, see what happens. A little wheat and blister wart makes a healing potion, if you didn't know. We have plenty of ingredients for sale, too. Terrific. Here, take a look at this. Beware of necromancers added. Yeah, you got any leads for take work? Take a look at this. Some of the Jarl's men came by and left this bounty letter. Ooh. Kill the bandit leader located at Silent Moon's camp. There have been whispers. A boy up in Windhelm, name of Aventus Aretino, been trying to contact the Dark Brotherhood. Ooh. Okay. Have you seen that shrine of Azura? They say the Dark Elves built it after they fled from Morrowind. Sight to see. Okay. Shrine of Azura. We've got something of a love triangle here in Riverwood. Fandel and Sven, both vying for Camilla's affections. Word is, Ulfric Stormcloak escaped from the Imperials. War's only gonna get worse now. Nobody trusts those mages way up north in their college. Gods only know what they do up there. Looking to blow yourself up? I hear that's what magic does to you. There's a college in Winterhold that teaches magic. Unless that blew up too. Be a lot safer just to have the Jarl's wizard teach you a thing or two. They say a dragon attacked Helgen. Sounds like hogwash to me. Yeah, Let's it's not. That appetite, hmm? All right, you can buy a lot of good stuff from this guy. Well, some okay stuff, anyways. Uh, bone meal, creep cluster, whatever. All right then. I'm not gonna buy anything right now. I don't have much cash. Hey, yeah. friend. Well, that's a problem, friend. Uh, seeing as I'm following you for a reason, rather not have to think about where I'm going. If that's okay with you, but if you want my advice, I'm a this way or that way guy. I just flip a coin or a bandit and let it make heads or tails of the situation. Okay. And I appreciate your concern. Just... Try not to do it a second time. Okay. Let me go look at this guy's gear. What does he have? Wait a minute. He doesn't have any, like, armor or anything? I guess I can't change his outfit. Or I could if I had some armor for him, but I guess that's his, uh... Default clothes, but yeah, I'm gonna take this guy's gold. You don't need it. I need gold. <laughs> Bad. Um, as far as the other stuff, yeah, you can keep that stuff. I don't care about that. Just remember. Yes, NPC cannot permanently die. I like that. NPC allow NPC idle chatter, NPC recharges weapons, NPC combat regen boost. I don't know what that is. NPC force past combat auto heal. Oh, force post combat auto heal. 
So either they heal themselves or us automatically if we need it. Okay. NPC keeps distance. NPC doesn't auto relax. Reset NPC. AI, all followers. Okay, global settings. Followers ignore friendly fire. Beast followers are ignored. Followers catch up. Yeah, beast followers are ignored. Definitely. Ignore them. Damn right, they better not refuse commands. Horses are... Right, okay. Alchemy! So, what am I going to make? What am I going to make? Can this make something? No. Damn it. There we go. Created poison of damage health. Yay, I crafted a potion. What did he say? See, that's the thing. I forgot what he said. I think he said something about... Thistles, and what was the other ingredient? I don't even remember what the other fucking ingredient was. Garlic, maybe? Oh, resist poison. Okay. Ooh. Look at that. Potion of resist fire. Wow, that's actually a pretty good one. Coats your weapon in corrosive acid for 18 seconds. Consecutive hits on enemies corrode armor and deal minor damage. Wow, so this not only makes me resist fire, but it also puts an enchantment on my weapon for 18 seconds. Very interesting. So all those two don't mix. Potion to restore magicka. And in food for the thirst, the rooms for the weary. Well, this is a temple. There we go. Resist frost potion. Corrode armor. Yeah, that's a brand new enchantment. At least I think so. I think it is. Wasn't in Skyrim or even... The, yeah, definitely not the vanilla game. I don't even think it was in Skyrim. Claws. Yeah, I didn't think that would do anything. You never know with these fucking recipes. And I have nothing. Yay! Didn't even go up a level in alchemy. It stinks. Oh well. Hey! You're that visitor been poking around. Yeah, what about it? Word is Ulfric Stormcloak escaped from the Imperials. War is only going to get worse now. Yeah, I already heard that rumor. Thanks a lot, though.
Wait a minute, does this guy have any gold? Yes. I don't think I took your gold yet. Not much gold on him. That's fine. Those guys can be my pack mules. Just remember, everything's better bloody. <laughs> right. Yeah, I can already tell what kind of character he is. He just likes to bash skulls. Hey, look at that. I found some salt. Oh shit, it's daytime. Alright, well, time to explore the town some more. Just remember, everything's better bloody. Yes, of course. What do you need? Out of my way, stranger. Those guys following me? So you get that Are they gonna follow me if I go this way? Huh. Do I have an option on that like just remember. I don't remember if I turned on an option that made them keep their distance. Or what? Limit to three followers. Yeah, followers never initiate combat. Yeah, I like that one. I'm the one that initiates combat. Limit to three followers? Hmm. Yeah, I could do that. Any more than that, it's probably too crazy. All right, then. But, yeah, I could, like, potentially, I guess, have, like, 30-some fucking followers, which is insane. What do you need? Let's go. Whoa, 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 what the fuck? Really? Holy shit.
I'm sorry, but animals should not be able to do that. Hod and Girder's house. Can I help you? Uh, yeah. They say the college has been snooping around Sartal. Mages in a burial crypt. No good can come of that. It's my meal. Some folks think it's my town too, but it ain't. The Jarl in Whiterun owns the land and the town. I just pay the taxes. And by supplies, I suppose you mean weapons and armor? Alvor can help you out. He's our blacksmith. Hmm. Hey, doggy. You need to leave. Why? The name's Yormir, and I'm just the man for the job. Just remember, everything's better bloody. Really want to steal from this lady, but no. No, that's all right. Yeah, hey, come here, kid. Where are you going? Get me mad, and I'll prank you. Not a little, a lot. Never mind. My I don't want to talk to you. You're a brat. She passes on my tails to the townsfolk to see if they were true. I don't mind, seeing as they someday will be. Ode to the Tundras... Tundra Striders? What the fuck is a Tundra Strider? I've never heard of that. This guy doesn't like his his uh, his freaking house. The name's Yormir, and I'm just the man for the job. So guess what? If it's not nailed down, I'm gonna take it. If I want it. Obviously, I don't want everything in here. Iron helmet. The name's Yormir, and I'm just the man for the job. Oh yeah, I will take your gold. Why does this guy leave his house unlocked, man? Ice rates. I'm not a particularly... F uh, yeah, I'm not particularly fond of ice rates. They're pretty annoying. Yeah, all right, I think we're done here. We heading out? Uh, I've got all your equipment cleaned and ready. Sure you do. Ah, such a fine day. Smell the air. Isn't it wonderful? You look like a traveler. Someone that has seen faraway places and heard new stories. I'd better uh, perhaps. You come hear me play at the Sleeping Giant Inn. For a small sum, you can even pick the song. Truly. So maybe my mother isn't crazy after all. You had best tell the Jarl in Whiterun. 
He needs to know about this. Camilla Valerius knows I'm the best man in Riverwood. That elf is kidding himself if he thinks she would choose him over me. I've seen him sneaking over to the Riverwood trader to speak with her when I'm not around. He's wasting his time. Hmm. You may be right. Camilla may see Feindol as the Lord of a friend, but why take chances? Here, give Camilla this letter. It's full of venomous nonsense. Tell her it's from Feindol. So yeah, I could like... I could do the opposite and help out Feindol instead of this guy. Lucan's got a little bit of everything in the Riverwood Trader. If you need weapons or armor, see Alvor, the blacksmith. Some parting advice? What? Whatever. No, by sure. What do you want? It's my boy Sven you need to listen to. He sings at the inn most every night. Okay. The chanting rack is used to turn animal hides to leather and to cut leather into strips. Both leather and leather strips are used in creating and improving weapons and armor. He has the voice of a snow lark. Only good thing he got from his father. What can I do for you? My boy Fancy. No, there's different cloaks I can make. She'll come around soon enough. These are dark days. At least we know we're doing Two other strips and four leather to make a white green hide. Two leather strips, four leather. What's happened to my Skyrim? Everywhere you look, cats, lizards, and elves, it's sick. Hmm. What do you need? I raised my spend. Strong and proud. True Nor. Need something? Long after we're gone. Come, come, I haven't got all day. So, do you get that weird taste in your mouth before hmm. you too? What is that? Mm -hmm. By sure, what do you want? It's my boy Sven. Mm. Listen to. He sings at the Yeah, I don't want to get rid of my imperial equipment yet. Not yet anyways. Uh, we'll go with that. Sven has the voice of a snow lark. Only and good thing he can got. I make clothing now. Oh wait. How am I? Yeah, I never realized how much day-to-day -day labor and well, what? My there we go. Now I can make it. Okay. Crimson, brown. Kind of cloaked. Don't want to make myself. Why are there three different things of the same thing? That's kind of weird. There, no, I got a cloak. These are dark days. Although it looks kind of ratty. But oh well. Better, eh? Cloak is a cloak. Better than nothing. Take what you need, my friend. Within reason, of course. Jarl Balgraf. He rules why Didn't I ask this guy all this crap? So far, he's managed to stay. I don't, but I've no doubt. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. Of... That doesn't mean I support everything the Empire. Yes, actually. How about you smith me an iron dagger? 
Here's everything you need to make one. Go okay. Ah, I forget you. Oh, yeah, I already asked you about Elisif. The Empire couldn't take looking to protect yourself or deal some damage. So, okay, this guy has more stuff to sell now. Steel bastard sword. Iron Qatar. Oh yeah, Qatar, that's a new type of weapon for like... I think you use it to like disarm opponents. Or something like that. Yes, yeah, it's it's weird. They've added so much stuff to this. It's it's insane. Steel boots. Almost have enough for that. What can I sell? Wait a minute. What happened to that fucking... Uh, wait a minute. Yeah. What the hell happened to my... What do I have equipped? Well, I do have that stuff equipped. But he doesn't want it? Oh, it's probably because I stole it. Okay. Never mind. Yeah, I need to, next time. I need to improve my armor rating Dog, here. Watch over your battles, friend. Take a look. Uh steel equipment. Steel bracers. I'm just gonna craft this freaking iron dagger like he wants me to. Iron cutlass, huh? Thanks. Whatever you need. My smear if it's simple and strong. Not bad, but it's a little dull. How about you sharpen it up? Just need a bit of metal and the grindstone over there. Good day. What can I do for you? No, I don't want to use the forge again. The grindstone, yeah, the grindstone. Duh. Okay. Alright, so I did it. You gonna give me something? Within reason, of course. This looks good. You put time into your blades. They'll serve you well when you need them. You want to keep helping? How about you make some armor? Let's start by tanning some leather on the rack. Good day. Hmm? Let's go. Iron or steel is what you... Ah, good. A lot of weapons and armor need leather for straps, fittings, that kind of thing. Let's see if you can make a hive helmet. Here's Ooh. the rest of what you need. It's 
from that we didn't pay. But then, dragging people off in the middle of the night. Yeah, I think I already talked to him about that stuff. Uh, hide helmet? How the hell do I, oh. Wait a minute, how do I do that? Unless I gotta go over here to do that. Oh, that's what it is, yeah. Hide helmet. There we go. I could forge you a war hammer that would crush a giant's head like a walnut. Huh. I should hire you to be my assistant at this rate. Let's improve the fit. Take this leather to the workbench over there. Okay. Mm -hmm. We heading out to the workbench. Iron or steel is what you need. You have talent. Keep working at your craft, and you'll be a fine smith one day. Why don't you keep that dagger and helmet? Maybe you'll remember me when you're making Skyforge steel, huh? Ooh, Skyforge steel, huh? So yeah, for doing all that, you get to keep Until next the time. stuff you made, which is nice. Someone else is using this, but they need to stop. Terrible slug. And you can't damage what you can't hit. And I just tire them out and strike a killing blow. These are drop games. There we go. Make those better, eh? What do you need? What you need, my friend, within reason. That letter ought to convince Camilla to never speak to Feydal ever again. Yeah, that's where I'm a little... I don't know, should I keep the hood for the magic increase and just say to hell with the armor rating? That's kind of a tough one. Yeah, it's only novice equipment. It stinks anyways. How much can I get for it? If I sell this crap, how much gold can I get? Probably not that much. Show those thieves not to steal from Lucan. The sooner you find the claw, the sooner our lives can get back to normal. Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. I'm keeping that. Here, I have a storm cloak cape. I don't care about that. You have that too. Imperial light bracers. Yeah, those are done. Bye. Eh, I can actually get quite a bit for it. Don't need that anymore. Yeah, why not? Here you go.
I can sell them potions too that I made. Yeah, I think I will do that. Here, I have an amethyst. I want to keep all that stuff though. For blacksmithing. Just to increase the help increase the skill, because I do plan on raising blacksmithing. Uh iron dagger. Yeah, I'll just keep those to break down later, I guess. Alright, so what do you have again? You have more spells I might need. You know, that's that's actually really good. Proves the caster's armor rating by 80 points for 66 seconds. Has the potential to reduce power attack stamina consumption by 20% and negate 10% blunt weapon damage. That's not bad. I'm going to pick it up. Frostbite. Yeah. I'm hoping that I'll probably like find a spell to him that teaches me that spell. In fact, I'll probably find all this stuff that teaches me that spell, but mm. fuck it. I'll get that one. Might be nice to have. Yeah, I know this episode I'm doing a lot of dinking around, but... I figured I'd show a little bit more of that. At least definitely at the beginning. I might show less, and th less of that later on, but... At the beginning here, I kind of want to show the thinking around aspects of it. Uh, there we go. Now I got my new spells. Oh, and if you use a perk when you level up, you'll automatically gain a spell as well. So hopefully, like, you know, whichever one I choose here, I gain a spell, like, that I don't have, hopefully. I mean, it would be a shame if I chose one of those perks and didn't learn a new spell. That would piss me off. But yeah, you're supposed to actually learn, like, a random spell. Which is a lot different than, uh... Well, than before, because you didn't learn any spells from from acquiring a perk. A per All a perk did was just give you, like, a passive bonus, usually. Pretty little t town they got so, here. Do you get that weird taste in your mouth after battle too? Huh? Taste in my mouth? We get taste in my mouth. Here to work? Get an axe. And bring me all the wood you can chop. Got business here in Riverwood, eh? There are worse things. Riverwood's agreeable enough, I suppose. For a Nord village. I'll show you what I know. Okay, so we can use this guy to train with archery. But if I do this, will I level up? I kind of want to level up. Yeah, I'm not going to do any of that right now. I don't want to, like, burn any bridges with anybody here, so I'm not going to bother. Yeah, because I think if you help out Sven, you can have him as a follower, and I think if you help out the other guy, Fuendo, the guy I just talked to, he'll become your follower, so whichever one you help out, he becomes your follower, basically, I think. You see those warriors from Hammerfell? They've got curved swords. Curved swords. Curved swords, huh? 
Wow. Very interesting. Until next time. Curved swords. I actually decided to buy more reagents from that guy over there. And, uh... I've got all your equipment cleaned and ready. Yeah, I'm gonna do more alchemy here. Corrode armor. Give me a mug of ale. Bone meal and right thistle up. branch. Resist fire. Resist potion. I suppose I might as well get the ones I know out of the way, like this one. Right? Or resist fire probably. Give me more. What can I mix? Resist frost. There we go, alchemy went up. Hey, there we go. Poison of Frenzy. Ah. Oh man, can't you mix with anything? There we go. Poison of weakness to magic. Another potion of resist fire. And that's it. Fun stuff, huh? Let's see if I can sell some of the stuff now. We got rooms and food. Drink for the thirsty, food for the hungry. Awesome. What, all I got is... Oh, wait. Wait, wait, this guy doesn't buy... Ah, uh, this fucker doesn't buy potions. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That fucking sucks. Tell me that there's a perk. That allows you to, like... Sell all the stuff to all the merchants. Bribery... Can bribe guards to ignore crimes. Merchant can sell any t item at any time. Okay, yeah, this one definitely want later on, at least. Then here's the other ones you can get. Can invest 500 gold to a shop. Can barter stolen goods. And then master trader. Every merchant in the world gain, gains a, a thousand gold for bartering, which is really nice. Fucking beautiful. But yeah, as you can see, there's a ton of perks. I, I should, from now on, probably just start every episode with going over a perk tree until they're all done. That way I'm not spending, like, an entire episode talking about one. But yeah, I'm still dinking around. In fact, I'm just going to end the video right here. That's all for this episode of Skyrim. I don't know if I'm going to take these two guys with me. I don't know. I might. It depends on how safe... I feel going it alone. I might take him with me just for the hell of it. We've stopped. Or I might just leave him here. I don't know yet. But I'm going to end the episode right now. So I hope you enjoyed the video, even though really not a whole lot happened. It was just me thinking around. So see you next time.